Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca, Dances with Pitbulls, and welcome to part five of my Let's Make a Crazy Quilt series. Today we're going to assembly line piece nine blocks with the machine. And I promise you won't have to hear me sew each and every seam. I'm going to do a layout and then I'll just talk you through it. I'll push pause, I'll sew them, press them, and we'll trim them up together and then rinse and repeat. What I did was our, fa our uh, inspiration fabric, I cut out some roses nine of them to be exact. I hope I have enough room here. Well, you'll understand. <laughs> I'll just have to keep on keeping on. So in each of my squares in the middle, I am going to put one of these. Let's do four, because I think that's all the room I have. Oh, wait. But wait. There's more. I want to... time myself. So let's see how long this actually takes, okay? We'll check it when we're done. I'm saying nine because nine would make, nine ten inch blocks would make a wall hanging. So yeah, let's just do nine. Okay, I have the fabric that we cut in part two. We did not use this in the part about sewing. So let's use some of this. Let's cut some strips in black. Also cut basically the same size in this. That one may be a little narrow. We'll deal with it as it goes. Okay, so what you're going to do is layer it like this and you put it face down like that and you're going to sew and then it'll look like that. So I'll do that. For all my pieces, all these pieces, I'm going to cut this in half. Cut this one here. I should have enough for this one. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, I got all nine. So let's trim them up. We're saving those. We're not saving these. trim right there. Very pretty. I'll be saying that a lot. Very pretty. I'll put them over that way. 
Uh, look, my iron leaked. I sewed too far on this one. Got to snip a few stitches. This, I need to trim this piece a little or I'll get confused. Maybe I won't, maybe I won't. Okay, so you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'll be back when I get them all done. Okay. First round of nine blocks done, and let's see where I'm sitting. 18, 19 minutes. That's a long time, but <laughs> slow and steady wins the race, right? Okay, I'm going to do round two, and I'm going to use What am I going to use? This. Round two is still just strips. So I will do this all the way around on nine blocks and I'll be back. Okay, second round done. We are at 30 minutes, so that one only took us 10 minutes, approximately. I think it's because I was talking and cutting and had two layers with that, so yeah. Third round, same, same. I'm gonna make these a little wider. I'll probably have to get another piece of fabric. Here's one. Okay, this one will go either here or here. I will decide as I go where, where this will be. I'll be back. Okay. That time, we're down to eight minutes. <laughs> I'm getting smarter. Smarter and smarter. So I'm going to trim all these up. And I'm going to keep that. Um, we will decide what the next round is. And I hope you're getting, getting the sense of what I'm doing. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we're ready for the next round. I've decided on the lame. Do I have I have to 
break into the other bundle. So I'm going to start right here, and you know the drill. Okay, we're now at 55 minutes. We're ready to start putting these big corner pieces on. Now some will need a little different treatment. This had five. So, well, I guess if I do one, no, if I do, well, I'll just have to think about it. <laughs> but don't let it flummox you. Just find some fabric that works. That's what I say. So, for instance, we'll do this for this corner. And... Maybe a black. I need a bigger piece of black. Okay. Black for that. Then I can find some smaller stuff for down here. Awesomeness. I think I'll, I'll do just one side again on all of them. Trim up. And carry on. Carry on. I wanted to show you. We'll just go ahead and do this. Oh, be careful with that lame, Rebecca. So when you trim and you get this triangle piece. See, I'm not going to put it there, but it would actually fit there. So you're going to save those in a different place. You're saving your small pieces. You're saving those up here, okay? So we're going to do something with those next. I think that's what I wanted to show you. Save your triangle pieces over here. Okay, 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 I want to show you something here. See this poking out? On heavier fabrics, I wouldn't worry about it. And of course, it's not going to show, <laughs> but I can see it. So, sometimes you do have to trim, especially a black under a lighter fabric. Trim that. I already pressed. This goes up there. have a couple more to do. So I'm moving right along. I'm at one hour and 11 minutes. Let me mess with the, Yeah, oh, I got it. <laughs> you can't see it. One hour and 11 minutes. Have to change my bobbin, do a few things. I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish these up so the next time you see me, they'll be done. Aight. And I'm going to use some different fabric like, look at this yumminess. I still have the silk shirt. You know what? I forgot to put any of the saris. But we, we, got, we got plenty of blocks to do. So, fear not. And I have this black. 
Okay. The next time you see me, or hear me, hear me, the blocks will be done. I'll still keep a count of, I'm going to keep this going. So, right. Okay, I have my pile, and we are at, can you see it? Oops. Two hours. That includes bobbin. I had to stop and wind two bobbins. And that's all the pressing, the trimming. But we got nine blocks, so I'm going to stop that. And let's look at them. nine okay in the next video we are going to take all these smaller scraps that I told you to save and we're gonna make something wonderful with them if I could find here it is These are four blocks made out of these little pieces. You sew them together to make a big block. And it adds a lot of interest to your crazy quilt. So hopefully we're going to get... At least four, I would like to get eight, but of course I still have all of this fabric, so we'll make it eight by hook or by crook. So come back and we'll do some tiny blocks.